I'm so excited to be here. This is going to be fun. Me too. Today's I really look forward to this. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I've looked forward to this. Good. Me too. Me too. Today we're going to do a couple fun things. Hopefully easy. Seemingly easy. We'll find out together, folks. That's for damn sure. Sandra Lee here, a.k.a. Nocturnal Butterfly. Coming at you from Ontario again. Along with my beautiful co-host, Leanne. Ladybug. Please subscribe to her channel. Her link's in the chat. All that fun stuff. You there? Yeah. I hear an echo somewhere. I'm trying to turn off devices. Oh, are you? Okay. Well, I'll give you a minute. All right. Let's see. Um, okay. Go ahead with your thing, and I'll be yeah. quiet and figure it out. Let okay. Up myself anyway. Get ready here. All right. This is not what I'm looking for. Hopefully. sent myself the proper link. No, I did not. Well, what do you know? All right, hang on. It shouldn't be too hard to find it. Today we're going to make an easy, I better do this first or I'll sound like, um, we're going to make cookies in a jar. We're going to make some easy these are kind of economical, um, definitely economical, uh, homemade gifts that you give to your friends and family this year. Because it seems like what I'm noticing is everybody's on a really super tight budget. Like super tight. Right. Okay. So, I'm still here. I'm listening to you. I'm just hearing a crazy delay, and I don't know where it's coming from. Well, shut off all the devices you got. I've turned on. everything right. off. Okay, I'm listening. Go ahead. Sorry. I can't find my recipe without. Oh, have mercy. <laughs> Thing on. Oh, there she is. Hang on. Bill's cooking with the, I think that is. Let's see why that looks. Trey's familiar to me. Yeah, Dell's cooking with a twist. That's where I'm getting this. It's chocolate chip cookie in a jar. And it has a free printable, um, little card with instructions. Because obviously this doesn't come with like your butter and your eggs and you know like all your wet ingredients. It's just the the uh, the dry ingredients. It's gonna take like an hour for my this old thing to load. Refresh it. Did you shut everything off? I have, and I still hear it, so I don't know what to do. Like, I can deal with it, so. Did you mute your, this one? Your the device? TV's mm -hmm. off. Uh, Did you mute the everything. device you're on? Um, Is that on airplane mode, your? I've got air. The phone you're on, or the one that, you know, what's aimed outside? Just the one phone, yeah. Ron, hello, how are you? Hey. Okay, so carry on. Have you been on video? As long as everybody else is not hearing it, then we're good. Yeah, it's taken 40 hours to load this up. Life is about good balance. No, life is about finding your recipe, girl, which you can't get to because you got way too much stuff on the site. See, this is what happens when people do these little recipe blogs. They put their whole entire life story. I'm not saying she does, but a lot of people do. They'll put their entire life story 
in the blog. And all of a sudden, I'm like, I just want to know how to uh, do this. You know? I mean, I just want the recipe. Yeah. Kind of like right now. I'm telling you my whole entire life story because I'm waiting for this to move. With all the pictures. And... I'm waiting for you to do the recipe. And the... Evidently, I just... Yeah, well, I'm, as soon as I can uh, get to it and I can read out all the ingredients, we'll, we'll be rocking. Well, I don't know where the feedback's coming from, and I can still hear it. So, um. like I've not memorized this recipe, so yeah. <laughs> you check the phone that's aimed outside. Yes. It's not on YouTube. Yes, I've turned the TV off. I've got all the other phones turned off. Like, I'm just on the one thing. Like, I'm not even seeing the chat, so. Yes, I'm looking at it right now. It is on YouTube. Click off this live if it'll shut it off. This is a catastrophe, folks. Are, Are you there? I'm here. Okay. Well, I think I just shut something down. Oh! Hello? I don't hear myself. Do you Hello. hear the puppy whining? Hello? Yeah. Oh! I don't know. Good? Yeah. All right, Ron. I'm sorry. I can't see chat. We're having a little... Yeah, I'm good now. I don't oh, hear myself. How you doing? Oh, he can't stay very long. He's just coming to say hello. Well, thank you. Hello, Ron. An awesome Sunday. Sorry, guys. It's... Yeah, like we were on before, like two minutes. Together, I thought, yeah. Yeah. Right. I, don't I don't know. know. And when you said swap up, I just did that and went back into the link, and it cut out whatever was doubling up. So that's where the echo was coming from. I'm sorry. No mistake. You would think after <laughs> 10 years, I would know better. Sorry. See, this is why I always freak out. Okay. So I'm ready. Go ahead and do your stuff. I'm ready. See this. All right. Am I ready here, people? I'm sorry. <laughs> My hot mess. But oh, literally, uh, yeah. It's like crazy. Okay. All right. Here we go. Hey, we're only eight minutes in. So, I mean, hey. Well, usually we're not even live at this point in time. So, yeah. We're good. Okay. You'll okay. need, obviously, a quart mason jar with a lid. Okay, for your ingredients, you'll need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of salt. You'll need one cup of chocolate chips. I'm using semi-sweet. Half a cup of brown sugar. Great, half a cup of white sugar. Half a cup of brown sugar. Um, a quarter cup. Yeah, a quarter cup of oats, little oats, instant oats, your oaty, oaty, oaties. And um, I guess for the topping, like to stick in, they say you can use, like, well, we'll get to that later, but they say you can use, um, like, uh, cotton balls or whatever to pack it in if you have extra room at the top. But I, I think you should use, like, marshmallows. But and I think that's a better idea. Yeah. I mean, cotton balls in there. Something right? you can actually eat. Yeah. yeah. Um, and some of the some toppers for your jars, if you want, it's optional. Just like a little pretty cloth that <laughs> I cut out earlier with some pinking shears. You don't have to get all fancy like this, Leanne, but you know You know you're happy that you did it. You can. Yeah. And it was about a saucer. 
She well, nailed it, me, guys. I'm just saying. Listen, this but woman, still. like, I just wanted to cut a square, and she's all like, why don't you cut a circle? I'm like, oh, yeah, because I'm going to get out my compass set, and... And I started yelling, you've got a yeah, dish or something with the circle. Yell. Yeah. Like, we're we got in a huge fight this morning. <laughs> yeah, it was huge. It was huge. It, the neighbors called the police. It was... Yeah. And they're like, what are you arguing over? And I'm mm -hmm. like, this bitch won't just go ahead and cut circles and set the squares because it's going to look better on the jars. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. All this other stuff, you know, it's for later. It's our, our later on craft. Okay. Which is another gift that can be tied into this. And then next week, we're going to do another gift, which we can be, can be tied into this, which we'll talk about later as well. Um, and, you know, you have a canning funnel and make it easier if you don't have a canning funnel you can get you know like a spoon you got basically got to pour it down into the jar well no but tell them about the spoon though because i saw you just pick it up yeah and pack it down so i was just getting yeah. ready to do that so yeah if you don't have a funnel to kind of pour your ingredients in because you want it to be in a nice layer so everything looks really nice like it's all layered pretty um, like the sand, like I was down. talking about that earlier. You know, everybody goes to the beach and collects their sand and puts it in nice layers. Yeah. It's the same idea. Yeah. You can pack it down with your spoon, right? I just, you know, you just bend like a teaspoon. So it, I have a fork like this too for, um, like I said, for my peanut butter cookies where it. To pick it up out of the, yeah. The cross is on the top, right? So. Oh, um, yeah. Like, going, it's just like. Well, the peanut butter balls, though, if you dip peanut butter balls in chocolate, like a bent fork is good because you can pick it up and scoop it up and it lets the chocolate run off and you just hold it for a second and shake it and set it to dry. Yeah. What's that for? What, were, what did you say uh, it was for? Peanut butter balls. You know, like the. Butter balls. Yeah, butter. but I have those thingies, so I don't need those. <laughs> oh, no, but still. Remember? A yeah. bent fork is good. If you, you don't use the fork. Yeah. So, all right. So you want to take your uh, baking. Was it baking soda, cinnamon, salt, and mix it in with your flour? Okay. You want to kind of whisk it in. Ooh. That has some scent of it. So you kind of whisk it in there. Like I said, we're going to do this in layers. So. And really, the cost is your ingredients, but if you think about it, you don't have to buy the expensive stuff like the eggs and the butter. Yeah. And it's a fun gift. Like, and it's thoughtful and homemade, egg. and then, yeah. yeah. And you can, I mean, the jars, if you have any, or you can pick them up at yard sales. Uh, you can yeah. buy them online, maybe like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or Kijiji or something. And just buy new lids. That's all you'd have yeah, to do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And you can get them on Amazon, Walmart. I don't know what, you know, in the U.S. where you would be able to get them out. You know what I'm saying? So, the, the one quart jar is okay. Okay. All right. All right. Great. Now we're going to start layering it. So first we're going to want to put the flour mixture in, it says. So we're going to want to try to get that in. This is where I would make a huge mess, even if I was trying to be super careful. See that? Yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah, I'm making a mess. All right, here we go. <laughs> Flour just tends to turn into a cloud, no matter how gentle you do it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did get it on my... Right here on my... want to wipe that off. I'm going to want to wipe out my funnel just because be a cool as uh, 
paper towel here or something to do it because. I don't want that powder all over my chocolate chips and stuff, right? Yeah. So you're still going to, even though you have the funnel, I see you're still going to need something to like, so that's where this little spoon's going to come in handy. But like you said, you could use a, um, a mortar and pestle. Yeah. A little, yeah. Hammer top deal. Yeah. Just, like that's one thing about kitchen tools. They're so like you, it's, yeah. Intended for one thing and you figure out another use for it. Let me see there's some powder. Nice. That's fine. Okay. Extra neat. So your oats would be next, I guess. Right. Then we have like shimmy yeah. shake. It reminds me so much of the sand thing, you know, because I've seen so many people do that, you know, of different beach strips and you put the sand in the jar and layer it. But that's yeah. And I love sand art. Have you ever seen how they do that? And, yeah. It so reminds I'll, me of that a lot. We'll do some contrast here, so Probably the brown sugar, then the white, and then the, look at it, it's like in a little ball from my cup. Yeah. We don't want that. Oh, let's fluff it up, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that was satisfying. Strangely satisfying. All right. In goes the brown sugar. Yeah, it works. Cute. It's making like little layers. I wish you could put edible glitter in it, you know, just to make it glittery. Because I mean, you could. Who doesn't love glitter? Yeah, but still. I do have that paper. Oh yeah, I put a layer of glitter in one of them. Cause put I, the glitter in, like the sugar or something. Yeah. That'd be yeah, nice. that'd be cool. I don't have it offhand. I don't know where it is, but if I did. I well, that being said, you're making. I would if I could, but I can't. Twelve so of these. Yeah. And now we're gotcha. Sugar. Yeah. I need the sugar with it. Stir the rest of that. Looking good, looking good. Nice. All right. All sides. And then said chocolate chips. Now maybe this will fill it to the top. We'll see. That's it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this might. Wow. No, it doesn't actually. Okay. We can do a few of the marshmallows, right? Yeah, what I'm going to do then. No and then even out these. Yeah, I see, yeah. Okay. All right. My pestle would crush these, I'm sure. Yeah. Crush these chocolate chips, eh? Yeah. Because it's like you didn't have a feel for it, yeah. Yeah, where is it? You know, yeah, over, that was what, you know, yeah. Blonk them over the head with that thing, right? And plus, doing it in the glass, like I would probably end up breaking the glass jar somehow. Uh, my luck. Flying. Yeah. Yeah. Or that, like my rolling pin, like. Yeah. Whatever you got, whatever you can think yes. of. Yeah. So as you can see, there's like some room left in there. So what I'm gonna do is just. Stuff it with some marshmallows. The boy just randomly eats marshmallows. So. Oh, yeah. 
Because, I mean, if you have a cocoa emergency or something like that, you got to have tiny marshmallows on day. Yeah. Random munchies, I guess. Yeah. I just always just like deep in the marshmallows. I like the colored ones when I was little. Younger. Well, even yeah. when I was old. All right, so. Oh, that is so cute. You don't want it moving around, right? Yeah, because it'll lose the layers. Yeah. Empty the marshmallows all over. Mm. Okay. <laughs> no, that's so bad for you. Okay. That's probably what half a cup, maybe. I don't know. You put quite a yeah, few in quarter there. Quarter cup, half a cup. Yeah, half yeah. a cup. Like pour some down there. All right. So then you want to take your your lids and, like I said, if you don't. You can always just tie a ribbon around it, like a really pretty ribbon, or even if you don't have pretty ribbon, just whatever. Shoelace. If you Swan. Whatever yeah. you have. Yeah. <laughs> and write a little pretty note or write a little note on a piece of paper or tag, recycled, whatever. But see the different layers? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? But you want to put your baking instructions on the note, right? Right. So, yeah, yeah. you want to have a note. There's a print-off. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description after the video. And, uh, yeah, you can print the recipe, poke a little hole in it or whatever if you don't have a hole punch. And then tie it with some... I have these different ones or... You know, you can get this kind here. Just make sure it doesn't have that oily smell on it or whatever that it can get when you get it at, like, the dollar store or whatever. Yeah. Like that preservative smell. I don't know what it is, but it's just like that smell. Yeah. yeah. So, and some little elastics are handy. Like, I got these little teeny ones. Because via Cuez, to put the cloth on, if you're going to put the cloth on to tie the rope, you know, you're Which, twine or around it. It's a biatch. You know, you can't. It's well, you didn't say what you, you did about the cloth. You have to have somebody, but you, you know, laid a plate down on a piece of fabric and trimmed it out, like in a circle. Yeah. Like you didn't really. We discussed how you yelled at me and got mad. <laughs> but what she did is put a dinner plate on a piece of fabric yeah. and cut it out. Yeah. Making shears. Yeah. And I and have so, my little. Marker pen, yeah, for cloth, right? So, and I took a saucer because that was about the right size for the lid. You need extra space because it's going to fold down around and you want it to look kind of roughly pretty around the edge. So, I just took my I got sugar all over here, but it's okay. I took my fabric. take this. I ironed it first, right? This one, this piece isn't iron, but I just laid it down. Let's see if you can see. Laid down like this. Took my plate, positioned it in the best possible spot so you don't waste any fabric. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And then drew the circle around. Got my pinking shears. And if you don't have the, the pinking shears, you can just use a pair of scissors, whatever, or cut a square like I was going to do in the first place. And then Which would have been fun. Shears to cut around. Yeah, I was going to cut a square with my pinking shears, but no, no, no. But you agree you like the circle better. I mean. Yeah. Fancy, but yeah, she was right. <laughs> It was worth getting yelled at over because yeah. it's super cute. Yeah. So anyway, you cut that out and then I had no inkling to put the rubber band around it to hold it down. Cause honestly, that's a pain in the butt to try to get that 
lined up and gathered up and then put the lid on it and make it look cute and ruffly and all even. You put a rubber band on it. Boom. Rubber band man, rubber band man. Rubber. Okay, so yeah. what? <laughs> Thank you. What? Do you think I should use the Grinch or this one? Or I have. <sighs> oh, you can see right through that one. And that was me. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Love you. Peace, love on earth. Great well, I like them all, so. Yes. Or Santa. Well, Santa's always, I mean, you know, I like the green, but I like Santa too, so, you know, I'm not a unbiased opinion here. I like them both. All right, well, we'll go for the Grinch. Get out of hand it on the elastic. Color doesn't matter because we're going to be covering it up. I don't know if you need to save the wash all the elastics that you get on your stuff at the grocery store. Your produce, yeah. Like I've got a whole little, Can you not know? a tin, but yeah. All right, so you kind of line it up as even as you can. You can get it even, who cares? Nobody cares. Get your elastic on it. And then whatever gets bunched up around the sides. Because it will happen. If it happen. Yeah, and imagine trying to do this with just a piece of ribbon or twine and yeah. trying to tie a knot in it at the same right. time and yes. make it pretty. Yeah. There's somebody around with you, and then it's easier. But... Only the lonely. Just kidding, am I? <laughs> so. Yeah, there. So see how cute that is? I mean, you can even add more more fabric if you want. Or like I was talking about back in the day, they used to put a little puff of the polyfill up underneath yeah, the lid. I wanna, yeah, right up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that was kind of a little much, yeah. Get your twine. And what were we going to do that for? And like you can put the yeah yeah so you get your twine if you want to go go with the red. I don't know I like the, you like the red I like the green well that's pretty green yeah, I like the green. Okay, we'll no green. no yeah yeah I like them both but yeah I don't know you pick yeah <laughs> with the green who was that it was. I don't know. There's a bee trying to get in the house. On your camera? Is that what that was? Okay. Yeah, it was me trying to swap the bee away. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Somebody out there? Did I see a hand flying no, it's around? Me. Great. Yeah. So we're going to cut a piece of the twine. And try to get it as even as you possibly can. Higher up. Higher up. I would love to have, like, like I said, my aunts have done gifts like this before. And, like, it's so cute. You don't want to use it because you just love it. But then at some point, you're like, heck yeah, I want these cookies or brownies or whatever it is. And you dump it out, put your eggs in it, mix it up. And it's like a another gift all over again. Like, you actually get to enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Not an expert bow tire. Now you can probably use a few strings on it if you want. Make it multi, whatever, whatever ribbons. Yeah. Put some little bales or all yeah. the stuff like that. So that is. is adorable. I love it. I would be tickled to get that as a gift. It's thoughtful and homemade and yeah. And hey, yeah. Doesn't take long to make, and I don't know. Here you can get like a box of twenty jars, so you know for twenty people. If you divide the cost, it's pretty good. 
it's yeah. pretty good. It's really good, actually. So, well, we'll leave that here so you can see it. I love it. It's a great idea, yeah. And, you know, I've got a bunch of old antique jars kind of thing. And, like, you could do something like that if you just want to maybe get rid of stuff and, you know, give somebody a, you know, because, like, well, all these jars that sit in your garden. basement. Yeah. yeah, that would be super pretty, yeah. Yeah, because everybody's going to be tickled to death with a cool old jar. And then they'll have the cookies and do that. And then they'll have a cool jar to do whatever with. Well, it's going to be a hard Christmas for a lot of people. I mean, it just yeah. is what it is. And a lot of people don't have fancy stuff or big wallets. To be buying toys and numbers and kids to buy for. I mean, you want to focus more on the kids, but it's always nice for an adult to get something too, right? So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and um, print the label. And like I said, I'll put down below uh, the rest of the ingredients that they'll need, like a little printable label. It'll be on her website, and uh, you'll be able to go check it out. It'll be in the description below this video, like I said, when it uploads. And... I hope everybody's done their Christmas shop and they're close to it. I know Benny waits till the last minute to get his done. So, good. Yeah. Well, I'm waiting on the one big gift today. So, if you see a FedEx oh, truck, yeah, right. Pull up. <laughs> right. Oh, last week. Well, it's been an exciting few weeks. There's been lots of stuff happening. Like, Nobody knows about. We haven't even took a fall. Some I've posted, some I haven't, but I got my tattoo. Sorry, Quit. speak of the devil. I just got a phone call. Did you? <laughs> I didn't, yeah, I couldn't blank out on it. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, so got my first tattoos. Tattoos uh I quit smoking. Yeah, you've had an exciting couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing good with that. Um, what's it? This November 7th, I quit. So you're going on a month now. Yeah. Because today's the third, so. Yeah. I'm doing but four well. weeks, yeah. Yeah, almost. Yeah, I'm Ooh. super proud of you. I know. Oh, yeah. I'm super proud. Yeah. It's a miracle. Yeah, that's a hard thing to do. Yeah. I never thought I'd quit. I have been smoking since I was, like, actually inhaling since I was uh, 11 years old. Around that. Super, super bad. And that's, like, you know, what we talked about, it's more of a, just a habit, not that you actually enjoy doing it. It's just, you don't know I what to it. do with your hands. Well, I know, but like, you don't know what to do with your hands and to keep, yeah, it's the like a nervous midget. Yeah. Into your lungs and uh, I loved smoking. I didn't, there wasn't anything about it that I didn't like. <laughs> I like the smell of it, everything. And then when I quit, <laughs> you didn't I could anymore. Smell it. I remember wearing my scarf and I, I put my scarf on and it went like I was, you know, smelling things all the time, right? And I stuck my nose down. And I was like, oh! Yeah. Like, oh, is this food tastes like? different. Why didn't anybody tell me I smelled like this? So, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was horrified. And it's just nasty. I don't know. Everything, it wasn't like I, it wasn't like I had some big plan. Like, on November the 7th, 2023, you know how you do that? You're like, I'm going to quit on Monday. I'm going to quit on Sunday. I'm going to quit on Tuesday. Yeah. You know? And you build it up in your none head. Going, and, no, yeah. none of that was going on. I just, everything kind of 
culminated all at the same time or whatever he said, accumulated all this. Everything happened at the same time. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to quit smoking. Right? Yeah. We, we were talking when I decided to do it. I know. And of course, you know, I never dreamed and you just did it and never went back. I mean, yeah, like you said, the next morning, like the first, the next day was probably the worst, right? Yeah. The next morning was the word very, oh, oh God. Yeah. I was, I got up. It was like, oh, I need a cigarette. You know, like, oh my yeah. God, I'm going to die. But I made it. Do some 21 days becomes a habit. Right? So, a little seed in there. I just seen it. Um, yeah, so we do some 21 days becomes a habit. And I think I've passed my 21 days. So, definitely, yeah. uh, I have a new habit called the non smoking. Yeah. Well, I have a new puppy, so I'm sorry that I'm being ah. noisy and mutant. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I'm trying to be really quiet. And if I keep muting, that's why. Because she starts, she can't handle the fact I'm up moving around and like she has to be under my feet. And anyway, but yes, we have a new addition to the family. She's adorable. I know. She's beautiful. She got it's rescued out of a bad her. situation. Yeah, I could probably could, but yeah, she would be, yeah, anyway, <laughs> but she's great. What, how you, <laughs> no, how, I, I, Rosa! Rosa! how she came about. Oh my gosh. She's adorable. Yeah. Just a random, you know, a rescue. We were literally <laughs> sitting in a drive through parking lot and she came up to me and I grabbed her and she was so little and tiny and we took her home and. I tried to give her away, but we took her to the bank and got her shot. So, you know, she's all up to speed. And now the other two dogs love her, and she's brought the youthfulness out of them. And so pretty much she's, like, made her way into the family. But anyway, that's why I keep muting and trying to be quiet because the dog is at my feet whining. And I'm trying not to stay yeah. on her. Mine's so. doing anything, as you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, but she's adorable. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but Trey named her Rosa, and I don't know if where the name come from. It was just such an odd name because, like, anyway, and I tried to talk him into a different name, and he just, he was stuck on that name, and so now she's Rosa. Rosa. I'd be yelling her name. I know. Like, I, I don't usually, baby. like, I don't overuse that because, like, if she's outside and won't come in. Yeah. When I do the Rosa that way, roll my R's, then she's like, oh my gosh. You know, so she'll yeah, usually come running. Roll, like, yeah. like that, and they come in. Yeah, yeah you, you got to reserve it. That, what is that noise? I know. Yeah. And then they get kind of get scared, and then they think, well, I need to come in. You know, if something's going on and my mom's yelling like a crazy person, you know, I need to go ahead and come in the house. And so everybody's happy. Yeah. All right, I have my little nod. Okay, next we're going to make some dried orange. orange. Now you can use... Um, these are kind of like an old-fashioned ornament that people used to do. And I imagine like back then too it would be expensive because <laughs> oranges are not cheap. They're, they weren't cheap then. And they're not cheap now because no. a bag well, of oranges around here costs you seven dollars. Well, like the whole idea of a stocking, like everybody, like that's old enough, like yeah, us to know, you got an apple and, and an orange and nuts. And orange, yeah, and Walnut. so citrus fruit was a delicacy, and so yeah. for them to be able to, you know, they were probably just trying to make sure they didn't waste <laughs> something. And you preserved it this way, too, because you can still eat this. Yeah. You can have hot tea and stick it in. You know, you can use it as a Christmas decoration and then use it in your tea. I mean, it's a whole thing. I mean, just yeah. make sure you get it dusted off, right? Like, but it smells. Yeah, or throw it, 
like in the pot, like after you get done with your decoration that you're going to do, you could put it in the pot on the stove, you know, with your, you know, the cinnamon sticks and all that stuff. Yeah. Like if you didn't want to actually eat it, I mean, you can use this in a multitude of ways. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, I use them all the time. You can use them to make your syrup. So, because in the summer now, and it's going to be like that around here too. In the summer, everything's going to be cheap. And in the winter, it's going to be expensive. So in the summer, we're going to be buying our oranges, drying them and doing whatever we can to preserve them for the winter. If we want to have some orange in the winter, some orange flavor or something. But yeah, so... I did mine in a dehumidifier. There'll also be instructions on how to do this. Dehydrator. Uh, in the co de de what did I say? Dehumidifier. Dehumidifier. <laughs> Got that on my brain lately for some reason. Anyway, so. Yes. Uh, but I don't have one, and you said I could put my oven like on the You can do it in the oven. I'll give instructions on how to do You can do it out in the sun, but um, I'll give instructions that all the directions and links to all the ways to do it is going to be in the description below make sure you subscribe if you haven't already hit that thumbs up if you haven't already you know it really helps my self-esteem <laughs> so i mean if you're i gonna love your honestly like your jar idea for the christmas gifts i just think that's great like i'm really looking forward to doing that like i'm gonna have jars out of the basement and, you know like yeah, who doesn't have them. jars? Yeah, just sterilize them like you would if you're gonna can something. And yeah, because look now, it bear, yeah, I'm not gonna turn it upside down all the way, but you know you can kind of shake it up and yeah. yeah. And then it'll have the printable with all the instructions on how to finish up the rest of it, so that they can you know make it themselves when they want. Okay, sorry. So I'm jumping back. Hard the... day at work. You come home. You just grab the jar off the shelf. You put, you know, you got your butter, your egg, whatever, whatever. And I don't know, eat a lot of sweets, but every now and then I just want some cookies or brownies or something, you know? Yeah. And that's yeah. great. Yeah, because you know, as well as I do, you got to like pull out your measuring cups, your measuring yeah. spoon, and all your stuff, you know, yada, yada, yada. And you also need vanilla, which yeah, but that's... we'll be making next week. I'll be showing you how to make homemade vanilla, so stay tuned. <laughs> get get your cloths, some dish cloths. Get your your vanilla, your vanilla beans. I just ordered more because I realized I didn't have enough. So I ordered some more vanilla beans. And we can get them in Canada. but And then get some little jars, like some four-ounce jars. I already got one kind of done up here already. But, like, that's like a four-ounce jar. Like a yeah. spice jar. So you can get them on. And that's going to be enough like, uh, what is it? 80% proof or something? I don't know. I don't know what it's like that. It's called, but 80 proof vodka or something? I'll post it closer to the end of the week there, probably Wednesday or something. Anyways, let's get back to this crap. <gasps> all over the place here. Um, well, no, but you're kind of doing this all together. You're just doing it. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's why it's you're they're running together. together. Yeah, so up until Christmas, hopefully we can do a few during the week. We'll try to fit a couple more lives in to do some more Christmas stuff. But oh yeah, I wanted to show off this too. Found these at the grocery store. Limited time only. Ooh. A little stock like and a little tree, and it's uh White cream vanilla flavored chips. So I thought they were cute. Would be cute in the jars. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. You can find them, and you know, and also like you can mix like sprinkles in 
with your sugar. Yeah. You also do like a vanilla sugar, which I'm also going to show you how to make next week. Along with the vanilla, it's going to be a whole vanilla, vanilla weekend. Well, that's one thing about sprinkles I love because they make all the different shapes and the, you know what I mean? Like anytime you go to like a specialty store and you find one of those little canisters of different sprinkles, I have to buy it. Like even if I have plans or not to make cookies or anything, like I just love all the little confectioner sprinkles. The beads and the, yeah. That's one of my weaknesses, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Texas. Okay, sorry. Go ahead with your oranges. Yeah. No, no. Uh, no need to be sorry. All right, I can't get into this. When I, I'm gonna put this in a jar after I open it anyway. So. I know sometimes those bags are so hard to close. <gasps> what is that? The clothes? Yeah, yeah, that was it. Woo! Why did I do that? Okay, so. Yeah, stick your nose down in it. Yeah, I, I love to smell stuff. I'm weird like that, but that was I know, but ridiculous. yeah. All right, now here's the cinnamon. All right, that's better. Yeah. Okay. We're we'll get a craft. nose full of we cinnamon. Hey, oranges. Hey, okay. you ought to eat a teaspoonful of cinnamon. You remember that stupid online challenge? No. Oh, those kids were doing that, choking to death. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Anyway, like a nose full of semen is bad enough. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, you'll need your, for this next craft, to make these ornaments or whatever that you can hang off of your little jars as well, too. And give them as gifts. You're going to need your dried orange slices. As many as you want. As many as you want to make. As many as you can get out of an orange. And I also attempted to do these little stars with the end piece. Because, you know, the end piece, you don't really need it. So, look at it. I'll be better. I love them. I've never really been good at making stars. Like, look at that. Ah, I think they're adorable. Dare you judge me. Anyway, so. I caught them janky, but you yeah. were throwing down on them Aren't first. Aren't they cute, though? Yeah. They're you adorable. Can, you can put them on. Yeah. I don't know if you want to. Like, if you had a messed up orange like that one you could like glue yeah. it in or something or like do that thingy with the stick and then hang the strings down with the orange slices and different oranges like the blood orange and lemon the limes yes that was then, adorable yeah yeah and the little stars i think i have a picture of it hang on yeah that was neat and that's all, all you know and that twine that you use i mean it's all cheap stuff i mean like we were talking about oh, yeah, the stars there it. are much better than mine so much better than mine yeah but that's your first try so, so and, here's and you some... only did what two oranges and you got all of that out of two oranges so that's pretty good well and i must admit i ate like most of one so yeah they're pretty big oranges Yeah, and then I didn't feel like cutting another one. It was a whole deal. Okay, so I got lazy. Isn't that nice? Yes, I love it. And everybody's got those little beads and stuff. Like, I think every woman has, like, a craft stash of beads and ribbon and all that kind of stuff. And you can do that. I kind of want to put some green outside. Some of the pine or whatever. Sorry. Pine needles all over the place, so no problem. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to need is some twine or whatever. You can also use Christmas ribbon or ribbon or whatever you have. Um, I have some beads, but you don't need all this. You don't need to have it. But if you have them, you have them. Cinnamon sticks, if you have them, you can get them super cheap at Walmart. Great Value is an awesome brand. You know, I'm not sponsored, but I'm telling you, in this day and age when you need to save money and you need a good product, and hate me if you will, look, we need to save money, people. We're single parents, the whole list. Okay. So I got yeah. some cloves and some of these, and you can get star anise too if you want, but 
bloody hell, the star anise is like eight bucks for a little bag of it. And I'm not going, I couldn't get to the ballpark. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. And I don't even know that I would enjoy that flavor because like, there's a lot of things that I think, oh yeah, it's expensive. Like, obviously I'm going to enjoy it. No. And then I splurge on it and I don't even enjoy the flavor. So, you know. It smells good, but okay. So I'm going to yeah. take a couple beads out of here. God bless America's here. Hi, honey. How you doing, babe? Oh, look at this one's got a little leopard pattern. You know I'm in love. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's my favorite. What else do we have here? Oh, look, we have a zebra. Zebra strike. How you feeling? How's your girl? Maybe we'll do a reddish orangey one too. That's pretty. I like that. Oh, I like that one better. Come on, don't disappear on me. Got it. Nice. No, they look, look at the like my nails. I'm going to be doing my nails and stuff. Toenails later. Anyways, got a Christmas party going up. Got to do my hair. Got to do everything. So I figured I'm not doing it. Okay. Two Christmas parties, actually, at the same, same time. Yeah, and a whole conundrum over the what the atmosphere of the party. Like one place is kind of chilly and the other place is warm. So you got to dress appropriately for both. Like you can yeah. layer up. It's a whole ordeal. Yeah. And your proper footwear. Yeah. Oh, that was. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Going from one place to the other. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, actually, I'm I suggested a costume change in the back of the truck and she pretty much shot me down. So I think the best you're going to do is change your coat out, right? In the truck? <laughs> I know, remember? Because I was talking like, what are you going to do? Just change outfits in the truck. And you were like, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, God. So, yeah. No. No, the truck is probably at this point in the game full of stuff. Christmas, right? So... Yeah. He's I'm being a little elf shopping for everything. All right. And like the phone. Like I had to tell my kid the other day, because normally I don't care because he uses my phone for certain things. Like he'll say, Hey mom, you know, and grab the phone or, you know, look something up, whatever, you know, no big deal. But the other day I was like, Listen, the phone's off limits, like you're not grabbing it. Yeah. Like yeah. this time of year you kinda gotta get weird about it. Like that used to always be a problem. Like you share an Amazon account, they you would like, order something. Stay out of my closet. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, stay out of my truck. Whatever it is, yeah. Try to pick the nicest. I mean, as you get down in the bag, they're probably going to get worse and worse. But if you're giving them as gifts, you want to make sure that they're cinnamon sticks and the cloves. You know, because you want to, you want a clove. I don't know if you can see it. My nails are horrendous. Yeah. See how it's at the end on it? You want it like that. Like a big enough little stick. Not like to... that. See how the end's missing yeah. off the pod or whatever. So, yeah. yeah. You want like you that. Just, just like, have just like you're sitting there. In. I mean, cool if you want the rustic. Look, you can go with that one, but, you know, I like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have to, yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to use one. Yeah, I'm just going to go with one cinnamon stick. Let's not get too crazy here, okay? Are you all ready for Christmas? Oh, I am. Like, in my mind, I am. I've just got to put the tree up and decorate. But, like, I'm excited. You know, like you were saying early, you know, everybody's broke. And we don't have all the money to go buy all these crazy gifts. But I love the Twinkle Lots and the hot cocoa and Christmas movies and the whole thing. Yeah, I'm super excited about Christmas. I love Christmas. <laughs> yeah, we should be going out. 
looking at Christmas lights and yeah, you. Okay, so there's a it. little thing in our downtown. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll bring no, go ahead. There's some stuff here. Some. Well, they've got like a little, it's like a half a city block, maybe. It's like a little park. But they've got a little fountain, whatever. But this local business puts up all these little, you know, off the little trees with the lights and like they do the whole animated music, like very, very, Merry Christmas and the whole thing, you know, and you pull up and you tune your FM radio. I think it's 99.1 and you listen to it. It goes along with the music and like you just go get some food as you're riding around and go pull up in that parking lot and sit and watch the Christmas lights for a few minutes. It's just great. Like that's the kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I wish I had millions of dollars just to go buy everybody gifts and all that. But, I mean, none of us do. No, so, that's right. Yeah. Well, well, I'm I'm wanting to do this to, you know, some things can be a little more, a little pricier than others. I mean, it's up to you. It's up to your budget. You can go super well, expensive. Like for, hit that dollar tree or dollar store well like your vanilla oh. jars for instance what you're going to do next yeah. week i waited until black friday and got a really really good sale did you tell him how the weather was down there i didn't hear you did, did what god oh, bless god. oh i didn't say it uh it's actually dry today finally it was rainy so bad we had a christmas parade last night and it was so soggy and wet. I felt so sorry for those kids and all the people. But today it's dry and it's like 60 degrees here, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, it's actually really nice today. Um, so we'll make a tie yeah. out there. Kind of hold it. Hold it together a little bit. I'm going to make a knot. But go ahead, yeah. Like, is it really fragrant? Like, when you hold that up, can you smell it? Um, not as much as you can smell, like, the cloves and uh, okay. cinnamon here, so. Oh, he's in southeast Georgia. Listen, I got to take a minute here. Georgia played Alabama last night in the SEC championship, and I was pulling for Georgia so hard, and Alabama beat us. I know he's going to have something to say about it, but, man. You know how I am about my college football. And it was like picking the lesser of two evils. But I like Georgia more than I like Alabama. It was a whole deal. So I didn't even mention that to you. But I had a stressful evening watching that ball game. Because it hurts. Those are so pretty. I love it. I'm just wrapping the. Oh, I wrapped it backwards. Sorry. Oh, I know. God bless you. Wrap it and then you want to tie it so that it stays. Yeah, it's so, game season, eh? Everybody's watching the games. And, well, it's finishing up. But, um, so, like, you're going to make these to tie on your thing, but then if you wanted to do the chains, you would just do it at the bottom of the orange and keep going. I mean, I love, it's like, um, like the hippie beads. It's like, would you walk yeah, through the door? Because you just smell them. Yeah. So, it's holding. Yeah. yeah. It now it's tight and not now. Well, God bless America. I was pulling for Georgia hard yesterday, and I was so sad when they got beat. And I can't stand Alabama's quarterback. I'm sorry, Sandra. I might get some hate brought on to us, but anyway, <laughs> I've got some deep feelings about this football ordeal. <laughs> anyway, that's right. Yeah, I know. It was terrible. I'm, I'm a Tennessee a fan, God bless America, so you know that I'm used to disappointment, right? That's what this made me tough. Oh, that looks so good. Yes. Yeah. What are your plans I'm for just watching this now. God bless America? All right, next we're going to take some cloves. Well, actually, I should finish the top up here. 
I want to put some beads in. So I just did an, a tie in the top and I'm going to do another knot there. So if you have any questions, ask in the comments down below. And now I want to take um, a string together. All together now. All together now. Put a couple of beads down there. So I'm going to chop yeah. even. Now, if the, hopefully the holes are large enough. I have a little tool that comes in my jewelry making kit. Ah, uh, no, that's the worst thing about deer's a beads. Handy little tip. If you have a hole that you can't get through, and you see these things, and they come to a sharp point, right? So sometimes these mm -hmm. wooden beads will be clogged. Even the plastic ones will have a little plastic in them or something. Yeah. And you can just take this tool and boop, stick it through. And is it actually a file or just a little? There is. It is like a little bit of a file. It feels yeah. filey. This one does, but my other one doesn't. <laughs> it feels filey. It feels filey. <laughs> Hey, hey! I know. I'm just asking. Don't yell at me. Oh my God! How dare you? I'm Judging having flashbacks. You. Oh, damn day! I'm having flashbacks of the circles. I know. Judging my squares. Now she's judging my. Just ask a question. See, okay. like, listen, people. She's crazy. She yells at me all the time. But she's judging me constantly. <laughs> I'm just little, asking questions. For little, little subtle jabs and. Okay. <gasps> oh, how dare you? You know I love you. Oh my gosh. I'm hurt. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. So bead number one, we're going to slide down. And if you can't, you can get one of these handy dandy things too. This helps you. Like a little threader. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's like a threader for thread, but it's a threader for beads. Okay. Now I'm going to put this back where she goes, so I don't lose her. All right. So I'm going to put that bead out of the way down. That's so cute. Oh, my little cinnamon's crooked. Ah! I almost shoved it out the hole. Watch it, people. Don't do that. Oh, my God. Watch the don't hole. Don't do what I just did. We about lost her. All right. Now I'm going to tie, just tie this in a knot around the top of the bead. Yeah, you don't want to lose your beads. No. And just kind of pull it down as far as you can. If it's not, it's exact top. It doesn't matter. You know, we don't care. Okay. Bead number two. I'm just sticking her through the hole. Sliding it down. Okay. Now just I'm going to tie a little knot at the top of that. I mean, it looked like I had a lot of, you know, this twine at the beginning, but look at how much we still have left. Now I can't even tie that around. Oh, I can tie that around the jar, but you know what I mean? So if I yeah, want to so tie that around the jar, I would stop. I can keep going to tie it around. You know, you could put beads all the way up. You could put different size beads, small big. You could go silver. You could go... Um, Gold, silver, and gold, silver, and gold. All right, so I just put the last bead on there. And you can do plain beads, like I have these beads as well that are. And really, these are all like macrame beads that I'm stealing from, by the way. Precious macrame beads. And like you can go, like you said, to the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store, and they've got this stuff for, you know, twenty for a dollar. And then you I didn't get these at the Dollar Store, but um, those see are here, nice. Yeah, a big example of the whole situation. See how big the hole is at the one end? Yeah. Flip it around and look at it. See how small it is? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'm fighting myself not to make an inappropriate joke. I know. I was like, I'm waiting, girl. You're letting me down here. 
Okay. Feeling good. I don't want to get your video kicked off of YouTube. Okay. All right. So we're going to tie no, another knot. Those are so knot. cute. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? I love tie it. Tie yeah. I mean, Super cheap. And I know it smells cute. good. I think the cinnamon sticks were only like two, three bucks. The cloves were two or three bucks for a bag. I mean, you're not going to use all these cloves, so spread them around. If you have a like crafting circle with your friends and get together and do all this, and if you're like a lot of people and you don't have any friends, well, you just hand them out to your I neighbor, it, yeah. or put them in a card with some wrap them in a little bit of tissue paper or hell, newspaper. What? Hang on to your neighbor's doorknob. Yeah. You know, they'll neighbor. come home and, yeah. Okay, so I mean, one spray first the tear. we're going to do here, and like I said, you could put, uh, like, the star of knees in the middle. You could, uh, like, get a hot glue and glue gun it, whatever, you know, that or whatever, or E6000 or whatever that stuff's called. Because then you can take one of your wonky stars and put it in the middle there. But I'm going to put cloves in. It's mine, so... Take the clove, the clovey, clovey, clovey. He's got the long end, so you should be able just to kind of stick it in, and it'll sit in there. But if you want to double secure it, like, you can hot glue them in there. But I'm just going to poke them through. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, I can see it fine. I hope everybody else can. Poke them through the orange. Still a bit tacky and fresh, so look, pre made hole. Okay, so yeah, you know, and instead of buying gifts like you know, not so good plastic crap, or you know, like this is such a nice little homemade, like I am so ah! into the thoughtful gifts, you mm -hmm. know, something you're going to enjoy, and then when it, you know, you can either throw it in some water and boil it on the stove. And enjoy the orange and the cloves, and or bigger one in that one. Yeah, you can put this in. You can make it. I wouldn't put so many cloves in if you're gonna have a tea out of this way. No, just to smell it. You know how people do the, you know, like simmer it on the stove or in a little crock pot. Like you know those little tiny crock pots that you have no use for. Like they're mm -hmm. for gravy or sauce or something. They don't even have settings. It's just plug it in. Oh, yeah. Like you could throw that in there with a little bit of water and make your house smell mm -hmm. nice. After you, yeah. you know. Like cloves in the That's middle so there. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love it. There you go. I mean, the back like is a little so pleasant, but yeah, I mean, but... I suppose it's not that bad, but. Looks and like you a can hang sunshine. them all over your tree. If you had a bunch of these hanging on your tree, your house would fill up with that the smell, the scent. Yeah. Smell the scent. It you would could have these so good. Yeah. Them. You could hang them on. You know, like my son made me this. My youngest son. He's so adorable. Um, but yeah, you could like hang them all up here. And see, I have candles right here. So, say I did, like, hang this up here. Now, don't get it. But the warmth would heat that up a little bit, and you'd smell the orange and the cinnamon and the cloves. And yeah. if you have or even if you're just there, cooking in oh, your kitchen. So lovely. Yeah, you're just cooking in your kitchen, and it warms the kitchen up, and it would start yeah. smelling. I mean, it's happening. Yeah. Like, you can put a sprig of rosemary uh, hanging down, yeah. off, like, in the picture. Well, like you said um, yesterday, like, if you had fresh herbs. Like, yeah. Yeah. Any kind of, yeah. Yeah, so you could take it and mark it and made this during long enough. Dang it, Bobby. Okay. Oh, in the front. Ah. I heard that. That motorcycle, I know. Yeah, I know. I was hearing back <laughs> get on end. I was like, ah. I know. See how pretty that looks? I love it. Honestly, that is such a thoughtful gift. Like, I don't know if everybody's like me and appreciates things like that, but. 
I, like, know, I would I, much rather have something like that than yeah, a, me too. Yeah. Now you can make it shorter with less beads, so it'll. It's perfect. I love it. I would be so two that. beads on a quart jar, one cinnamon stick, a big orange. It depends on the orange slice too. Like these, these oranges were massive. I'd show you the rest of them, but I ate those as well anyway. Wait, so you said you only bought two, I think. Don't and you judge said, me. I, listen, but you said you, you bought two and you ate half a one and you still got like eight or nine slices. No, I bought three, I think. Oh. Because I, I think I ate one and then some, I think. Okay. I'm not yelling at you. Or was I'm that just pointing a, out how much that you got out of that because, I mean, yeah. Been a mango. I don't know. But like the little thing, like hanging, like it reminds me of a dream catcher, but with the limes and the lemons and all that stuff, that would be so cute. I mean, that would be a great, yeah. Because if you're dehydrating oranges, you can go ahead and do it all. Yeah. Limes, like I said, the blood oranges too. Yes. Yes. So. The blood oranges would be greedy since they're so yeah. red. Yeah. Yeah. Waste my clothes. Chloe, Chloe's. Just put a bowl of cloves out on the coffee table and have your guests wondering, where is your house? Why is so lovely? Why is my great value cloves? Thank you very much. Not sponsored, by the way. Not sponsored. Yeah, no, but if you look at any great value or like, uh, Trader Joe's or Ralph's or whatever the generic brands that's the same people that make the expensive brands and you're paying two or three dollars more just for something so yeah I don't have a problem like the only thing I can't eat is great value cheese really the cheese you know you gotta get good yeah, cheese never, yeah I've never tried it they have a bunch of good frozen like their frozen veg and stuff like that like so yeah why not but i can be leaving all this stuff out so i can finish these but yeah so that's that's it well next week we're gonna do <laughs> sorry i love it though i think it, i would be tickled to death to get that as a gift yeah i would be like oh my gosh that is such a thoughtful sweet gift i love it so much yeah merry christmas merry christmas so we should hang that you got up I love it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and it's not something you would do for yourself, you know? No, you wouldn't. But you're going to enjoy that, yeah. Yeah. Pantry pull meal. Cookies. So, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. More crafty things are on the way that's for sure for christmas more economical i would like to say cheap frugal whatever you know because she got she say uh pinch that pinch that nickel make it third a quarter <laughs> well, i was thinking pinch the penny but i don't know if you pinch a penny you can't get much out of it so other than a fart, so yeah, <laughs> I think that sounds better. A fart and a quarter. <laughs> what we gotta do for us? For oh, I love it. Yeah. Well, I mean, for years, like you know, my mom's side of the family, when we get together, it's always homemade gifts and just little, you know, odd things. And then yeah. every year, I'll get something cool like what you just did, and I think, oh, I want to do that next year. You know, like, you know, you just enjoy it. I think it's a very yeah. thoughtful gift. Yeah, I'm, I'm and, gonna have fun here and <laughs> finish making. Yeah, because you got to make, what, 12 more? Or, yeah. yeah. Well, whatever I have. And yeah, so we're going to make as many as we can get. I'm not sure. I don't want to open the vanilla yet, but I think there's 10. Okay. And I ordered 10 more. So I'd have enough to do 10 to 12. I'm trying to figure out how many gifts I need for everybody. And I think 
12 to 20 would be good, but yeah. <laughs> I know. It's never enough, and then if you go overboard, you've got too much, and you know, you're the way to random people. Family, then we have the obviously the kids, grandkids are separate, little ones are separate, but yeah, so there's a lot of people that to buy for. We want to spread the holiday cheer, don't we? Yes. Who doesn't want to walk in with a Santa hat on? I know, because I love Christmas, and I think the idea of Christmas is being lost with the, you know, buying stuff, but, like, the hot cocoa, like I said earlier, you mm -hmm. know, watching movies, and, you know, you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money to, you know. No, you don't. I don't know. We should try to make those. Hot we'll cocoa? See. Hot cocoa like, on a seat. Yes. I know. With the marshmallows and the whole, yeah. I love that. Because kids, Trey loves those. And all you got to do is put the warm milk with it, you know, warm it up in the microwave or whatever. And melt all the chocolate and all that. Like you could, oh, yeah. I wonder how see, you those do are that. fun, too. Yeah. Right and see. Because I don't want to get into making... I can make my own marshmallows and stuff, but that's a whole ordeal in itself. Oh, no. I just buy the little mini marshmallows. But the... Or the, the homemade marshmallows taste the best, though. Well, yeah. Well, somehow it's marshmallow with the hot chocolate. Or is it a hot chocolate block? With, I don't know. We'll figure it out. There's different ways to do it, yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But that's fun, yeah. I love the... Yeah. Warming the milk up. Yeah, if there's or if there's something somebody's watching this later on, and there's something you want to see us make, you want to learn how to make, and we'll learn how to make it at the same time. Yeah, we'll learn together. That's what the fun of this, you know, it's fun aspect yeah. of doing this together is that we're all learning the same same thing yeah. at the same, same time. Disclaimer: We're not experts at make anything. Same mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> so. Like sugar is a wet ingredient. I'm sorry. I swear I'd never bring it back up, but I had to. I gotta get off my feet here for a while. I'm down. Get off my legs. Alright. Am I crooked? Anyways. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry that you yelled at me earlier and was very sorry, mean to you. me. Sorry you got yelled at too. <laughs> Well, I only say it because I love you. It, well, gonna I'm gonna probably yell at you. Oh, here. I'm gonna hear about this till the end of time. <laughs> She's bossing me I around. Love you. She's, it's okay. It's okay for her to boss me around. Tell me what to do. Let me know. I just made a suggestion. Listen, 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 Linda. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. She just, you know, there's a better way. I was trying to help. I'm doing the like crazy bunch and I'm trying to deny it. I didn't know See, what to know. Oh, there goes the cops. See, they know you're being mean to me. You're stressing you to walk out. She beats me behind the scenes, everybody. There goes your, there goes your. I got it. The wind is blowing like crazy. Um, oh my goodness. All right. Okay. Well. This. Hey. Everybody. Hope you Merry it. Christmas. So, yeah. I'm really excited for Christmas on the lots and the decorating and like gifts and like yeah, keep your eye your family and friends and Benny and I'll be traveling around and I'll try to get some some stuff taped if I can and for our Christmas festivities and hoping to go see the lights again and all that fun stuff so next weekend will be busy but i'll still try to make sure we're live yeah it's windy holy moly there eh? i know yeah all right like I've got I my bye again love you we'll be back i'll be I love you too just throughout the week so keep your eye out if we decide to do a spontaneous live i'll let you know maybe maybe not for sure <laughs> All right, and be sure to get another big fight down below each other. Yeah, hopefully we we can start some rumors like.
No. You know, I don't know if they really get along or not or what they're, you know, but they seem to fight a lot. So, mm. right. <laughs> YouTube drama. Oh, God. Yeah, you, I know. We, yeah. We'd be the lulls yeah. cows or whatever they call them. So. <laughs> Fuck you, you, eh? Aspire to that. Okay. You don't want to mess with this Canadian. Oh, I just swore. Damn it. Heard me, Lord. All right. Love, everybody. Love, love, love. Love you. Love, yes. love you more. Thank you for everybody that checked in. Yes, thank you. Okay, Take care. Enjoy this early. Okay. And we'll chat soon. Bye.